Hi guys, welcome back to Sloot Talk. Um, today is a very, very special episode. I'm here with Hawk Hates You. Hey everybody. My new business partner. Yeah. We Am I supposed to say start. anything else? I mean, say oh. hi. Hey everybody, I'm Hawk. I get really anxious and really nervous no, 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 for it's these just a, things. It's just a conversation, so. don't worry. It's just a conversation. They're, they're not even there. No one's listening right yeah. now. We do this every day. So we asked you guys on Instagram to give us some questions to answer about our upcoming project, The Sacrifice, and you guys delivered. Let's run through them. Oh my gosh. Okay. What is it? What is it, Hawk? <sighs> well, um, it is, are we talking about what the book is or? What, what is all of this? What are we doing? <sighs> So um, one day I called Livy and I said, I've got this crazy fucking idea. <laughs> and I knew Livy is like the only other person that is as passionate as I am about these fucking books. And I've been I've been waiting months to find somebody because I know I can't do it on my own. There's just no fucking way. It's a lot. It's a lot of it's, work. It's a fucking I could not imagine doing this last thing without you or any of or tonight which we will get into. Um, but basically, we just have a crazy passion for books. And the we decided to make that passion come to life. Yeah. And we basically took one of our favorite scenes from one of our favorite book series and yeah. we made it into a movie. Yeah. Or a clip. A clip. Yeah. And we felt pretty qualified because we make porn. We you do, know, every day. Every day. We make porn. We're kind of really knuckle deep in this shit. So, Hawk, I feel like this is the perfect question for you since you're Ooh. so passionate about it. What's the book about? What's the series about? Oh, my God. Without giving spoilers. Okay. So, without giving spoilers, I would say death. Murder. <laughs> Murder. Sex. Stalkers. Money. A soft little marshmallow named Riot, <laughs> but actually not a soft marshmallow because he's also a murderer. And some really hot, dominant, sexy men. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And scary if you've read uh, The Sinner. It's good. And so yeah. The Sacrifice is the third book in the series. It is. Yeah. And that book itself, they're all different. You can read them in an, any order you choose. Um, yeah. But the sacrifice itself, I would say it's about a husband and a wife and a lot of murder, sex, drama. Marriage. But there's marriage. pretty things too. Maybe like a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome. Just you know, like a little. Just like a little. Also, this is not us condoning it. This is fantasy. Fantasy. And that's this why is, it's good. Yeah. Read the book. You won't read the books. Read, read the books. You can read them in any order. They're kind of like... <sighs> I'm not good with words, <laughs> but they're kind of like standalone books, but like in the same universe. You know great. what I mean? You guys will love them. You don't have to watch the scene that we're mm -hmm. making. You don't have to read the books to watch the scene, but yeah. you will enjoy it much more if you do. So much more. Yeah. And the scene we did specifically, if you are wondering and you do want to look it up in the book, it's chapter 61. Yes. And it goes to like about chapter 63. Um, just keep reading. <laughs> yeah. And you will see it. So, Hawk, will it be like the book? This will be as close as we could possibly get it to the book without getting ourselves into trouble. Because with any... Um, Almost any sex work like platforms, there's so many rules. And we, we, we broke a lot of them for the majority of the platforms where we'll get into yeah. that later about like what platform we end up using. Yeah. Um, because this stuff is very extreme. Oh my God. Yeah. It was, I mean, I was, for filming, I was like bound, hands behind my back for what? 12 hours? Yeah, we, we did film for 12 hours. Uh, just to follow my faves asked us, asked us how long did it take to film? And it was about 12 hours, I'd say. It was say. about 12 hours. But it was so much fun. Like, um, Doxy brought these special cuffs where, like, you could literally just, like, pull them apart. 
but they're really hard to get out of if they're together. So between scenes, you know, we were able to like get my hands out, you know, from behind my back. So it wasn't all like stressful or anything. But it, it was like, it was stressful in the sense of like, we were like feeding off the energy. Like we only yeah. had one day to get this done. Um, but we're kind of fucking bosses. We're doing it. Like we literally packed, we flew Flesh Mechanic out from Canada. We packed everybody in a fucking car, drove to a church where we didn't actually know. Like, I, I think I FaceTimed Mikey for not not very long. And I was like, just show me the church. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen the TikToks. Just, like, just give me, like, a good idea. And then I sent a video to Chantel Tessier, and she was like, love it. And I'm like, okay, we've got our Tyson. We threw we've it got together. our church. We threw it together. I mean, yeah. we had a lot of thought in the idea itself in general, but I think, like, when it really came down to it, we're like, we have to do this. We're both really, really busy people, and we were like, this is the only time we have available. Like, we're doing it. We've got these 12 hours. Let's make the fucking most of it. So I think that brings us to the question of, like, who plays who in this scene? Um, so I play Lake. Ooh, I play Lake and um, Flesh Mechanic plays Tyson. Yeah. And you play our director. And we had a safety coordinator, um, Damina Doxy, and a it great was, assistant. Yeah. So um, let me see. Also, I hope it's okay. I need to. You're good. Take I, out those extensions. Yeah, I'm taking them out. I'm done. I'm just gonna set them right up here. Yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw them on the floor. There's a candle. Yikes. I'll keep them. I'll give them to Ken. Yeah. So Maria Salem asked us to talk about the safety talks before, during, after, and then they said, "Love you both." Oh. Love you too, Maria. <laughs> We've had so Fletch Mechanic and I have worked together before, which made things. Um, Especially the chemistry. It made things more natural for You guys have a great filming. chemistry. I think everyone can agree on that. It's yeah, very, very thank you. beautiful to watch on camera. Thank you. We have a really good time when we're on oh, camera. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. <laughs> um, but we've had, we've had a lot of boundary talks before. So every time we work together, we kind of check in with each other. You know, things we're okay with, things we're not okay with. You also mentioned previously that we did hire a safety coordinator. Yes. And who's that safety coordinator now? Hawk? That'd be my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. That'd be my girl. <laughs> she was... Love you, Doxy. She was... I'm so happy that, like, I... First of all, I start, I'm so happy I started flirting with her in the <laughs> first fucking place. But also, she is so educated so you know, educated like we were ready to just hog tie me up and she was like hold on like we were just laying in bed talking about this project and I was like well, yeah, we're talking just gonna it through like how are we gonna do this because when it came down to it I was like wow like this is a hog tie scene like I don't know how to hog tie yeah flesh didn't know how to hog tie and I was like we need to find someone that we can have to like help us through this because this is a very hardcore scene mm -hmm. I think it's one thing to read about it and yeah. it's another thing to like make that a reality yeah in my brain I was just thinking about going to the local sex shop and getting one of those hog ties you know the cheap ones that will break and I was like we'll just get four of them yeah. but I didn't think about how uncomfortable it would be to be like that for like hours, hours yeah. potentially so, so to answer your question Maria I would say before we, sh we filmed, we had lots of consent talks yeah. and detailed walkthroughs. Before each scene, we would walk through it. And yeah. that's just like basic, basic stage directing that you do with any sort of acting. Um, yeah. But we were very detailed with it to make sure everything was okay. And they the, both the actors were comfortable with everything. Yeah. And, and you know, we also, um, we tried to take as much like, I guess, safety precautions. Yes, during the shots, we would remove the cuffs and gag mm -hmm. at the beginning. And then, do you want to talk about the ring? Yeah, yeah. So, Doxy, my girl, is a fucking genius. And we we realized that I would be bound and um, gagged, 
you know, during like the actual face fucking scene. And all four limbs are bound too. Yes, everything is bound. So there wasn't like a way for me to um, tap out or normally you have safe words, you know, and stuff like that. But if my mouth is full, there's... And you can't move anything to tap? Like, well, what do you do? Yeah, so I held a ring and um, basically the rule was if the ring drops, everybody just backs up. And Um, we actually had Doxy during these hours that we were filming the scene with where the ring would be in your hand it was doxy's basically only job to make sure that ring did not fall exactly because <laughs> you know i'm busy like bossing people around um yeah. you guys are busy acting everyone's busy doing their roles and doxy's role was just to like make sure you were okay yeah and there was also there was um sorry about that there was a lot of um like check-ins even during the actual face fucking because I was fine you know during the shoving me against the wall and stuff like that I was still able to talk but even between the face fucking we would take like a second to check in with each other make sure flesh was okay make sure I was okay take a breather yeah without a dick down your throat yeah because that's a little intense yeah And then after, I'd say it was lots of love. We were all just happy that we accomplished something so, so big and lots of snacks because you didn't really eat a lot because of the the scene. Yeah. So I didn't know. (laughs) I didn't know how long filming was going to take. I don't think any of us did, to be honest. It was like our first time kind of doing something on such a crazy level. Yeah. We started at like, God, what, 10 a.m.? It was at like 10 a.m. And so I was like, well, if I'm getting face fucked, if I'm going to be gagging a bunch, like I don't want to throw up on him. And if I do, I don't want it to be anything crazy. So I took like maybe a couple bites of pizza here and there. Um, But also this was a learning experience. Now I know for next time, you know, eat a good breakfast. Make sure you're good so that you could do filming all day and then be ready and like yeah. good for a scene. And we, 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 got, we, we ordered pizza after. We sure that was the, did. We sat there exhausted eating pizza (laughs) and we did a photo shoot though and we did a photo shoot after yeah we were exhausted but I think the thrill of the shoot and feeling so accomplished we were just I I know I was ready for adrenaline yeah adrenaline straight adrenaline yeah so why did we decide to do this and create this project that is a really good question and two words lady porn lady porn because there are a lot i mean you can you can get like passionate porn um from i've seen that a lot but the reason that we read these books is because there's an intimacy in there that you don't find in porn there's very often play, there's a character development you have connections there, yeah. there are real connections and yeah. i think we can all agree when we say that porn is made for men yes. and that's cool but women deserve porn too yeah And a lot of women, I would say the average woman typically doesn't watch porn. Mm -mm. It's very, and I don't blame you guys because it's very, very male gaze. And it's been really interesting, like making male gaze porn and switching over to like a creative mindset where I'm directing like female porn. And like the things are so different. We're, we're different. We like different things, you know, it's, yeah. There's just not enough. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. I think it even showed like as we were filming the difference between like men in porn and women in porn because at some point I was being dragged through the hallway and somebody was like, should we pop a nipple out and like porn it up? And I'm like, no, you said that you were like, no, because women are going to watch that and they're going to be like, oh, a nip slip. And I think it's just interesting because of like the way like male minds are wired especially when it comes to porn it's very they're very visual creatures when I think it comes to like people that like reading these types of books it's about the character development and yeah the quote the the, like quote poured it up I love it it was so funny but I'm like listen like the porn is like being dragged through the hallway like that's the porn for us like book readers like yeah that's porn to us there might not be a nipple showing but like we're still like turned on the actual face fucking could last like two minutes and like I know women would be okay with it because the people that have read these books they know the dynamic between you know Tyson and Lake and it's it's a beautiful thing because it's fake 
that is like the biggest thing that I want to express because of these books. Like, we are not condoning this behavior. If a man ever pulled that shit with me, no, I would take us do, both out. Ladies, do not like what you witness in our video. Don't don't do it home. Yeah. Don't do it home. Do not let. Don't try it on a girl, please. Yeah. It is professionals only. It's fake. It's fantasy. Yeah, it's not real. We're professionals. We are literally yeah. professionals at this. That's why we wanted to do it because we were able to find like a safe way to bring these to life. But even in our videos, you know, you have to watch us having a consent talk beforehand. And I think, I think the one problem with a lot of these books. And I want to be able to like raise awareness on it is that people will see these books and take them as like a how to BDSM or how to fuck your girl guide. That is not the no. goal. It, like 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 it, like we said, it's not real. It's yeah. not real. And a lot of these scenes in these books, it's women going through crazy things with their bodies, which yeah would not be good. In mm -hmm. real life. Like, no. Like, these books, and they're so good. They're so good There's... to read. They are so hot. Like, yeah. you know, when a, he drugs her and then fucks her. Like, that's fucked. That's like, absolutely fucked. don't do that. Fucked. No real life, but, like, fake? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, to read about it, you know, or watch, like, a scene where it's fake, like, a movie about it is different than actually exactly. doing it. It's fantasy. So, if ever, if we all just remember that yeah. moving forward, um... Then, then we'll be good. I agree, 100%. Why is this taking so long? There are so many reasons. First, first and foremost, I know that you and I are both perfectionists. And we care about these books so fucking much. You guys, this is so important to us. Yeah. It, this is... It's taking forever because we... I want to give everybody a video that I would watch, that I would pay for, that like I want it to be so fucking perfect. I want to make Chantel Tessier proud because she gave us permission to fucking do this. And Shout out to Chantel. Yeah. We love you. And also, there are so many websites that will not allow the things that we did. Yeah. Knife play. Uh, all yeah, there's knife play in this scene, you guys. Like that's there's that's crazy. <laughs> Don't actually have sex with knives unless no. unless you have done extensive research yeah. about knife play and. Yeah. doll your knives and all of that stuff like don't just go be fucking with knives okay like don't do that yeah but that is in the scene <laughs> yeah. but it is in the scene <laughs> um but even then we were all like how do we want to do this if we like it was a very we tried to do two different takes where we did one with a knife and one you know without, without a and knife it just looks so much it's so much better with a knife it like, looks so fucking good oh, with the knife so much better but also to answer the question of why it's taking so long is we definitely like made the mistake of maybe like posting on social media like when we were there yeah like when we were filming like that first video that you guys all saw when we announced that we were doing this project was filming day and yeah. this stuff takes it takes a long time to edit and piece together all of the 12 hours of camera work that we made yeah um it takes That's time why movies take years to produce you guys and we're just asking for yeah. a couple months we're we're trying our best also this is our first project um working on the teams that we have and exactly who we want to work with and it's also very new to us you know making porn isn't new to us porn regular porn is a lot different than this passion project because we're Books have saved me, honestly. Like, books have straight up just absolutely saved me, especially in this past year. So I, I want it to be as worth it for everybody else as it felt to me when I started reading. That's really beautiful. It Thank will you. be. I it, think so. It, fuck it. It's our baby. It's our baby. And it's, it's going to take a second. It's but... also cinematic as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Cinematic as fuck. I mean, we had fucking... There, when I was getting pushed into the um one of the rooms with the candles in the background, we had Mikey and assistant Butts. One of them had the fog machine, and Butts yeah, was, was using this chunk of fucking wood 
to fan it to <laughs> make it funny. to set the fucking scene and we for had to us. do that for like an hour yeah because <laughs> <laughs> we needed the fog for that scene yeah um amy asked will you be doing more films like this from books fuck yes we will we will amy we love this it's yeah it's becoming it's definitely we did not expect this to happen no we thought we were just doing something for fun like one little thing and now we have how many other ones planned oh my god at least three yeah i was gonna say five i know i know five off the top of my head that like i am ready to jump into and we're, we've started we have started you guys we've started planning these writing talking to the authors talking yeah. with people for set design there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we would yeah. love to like share with you guys more if if you want to know about it um yeah because we don't want to keep you guys in the dark we're not trying to keep anything from you at all we just yeah. we, this has to be perfect it has to be perfect and there's a lot that goes into it to make it as good as we see it in our minds yeah i think because of, like i said because of the fact that like it's our first project finding the right team for us to get the content as good as possible and edited you know just how we want it that's been like a little struggle for us it has been but yeah. I think it's just a learning curve when it comes to that of like knowing 100%. what we want and um, yeah doing something for the first time you know yeah it's been crazy though I feel like I know so much now even after just the first one. And it's going to be like that, you know, every time we're going to... Dude, you're a producer now. That's crazy. You're a producer now. We're producers. That's insane. It's crazy. But anyways, yeah, there's going to be so many more. I, The one that I can absolutely confirm that I want... I have been screaming at the top of my lungs off of rooftops is H.D. Carlton. We have a few ideas, and H.D. Carlton was, first of all, the first author to ever tell me yes. So she has my heart, like, always and forever. We love you. She made me believe that I could do crazy shit like this, like, to be bold enough to reach out to somebody I worked with only a handful of times, you know, and be like, let's fucking jump into this. So. Big things to come, you guys. Big, yeah. big things to come. Um, Dylan asked, did we have the book open behind the scenes to try and mirror it the best we could? We actually wrote a script. Um, we had it, I think, to a T of like what we wanted. Yeah. But we did have a book open. Yeah, we did. And we also made sure to send the script to Chantel Tessier. For approval. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I remember being so nervous when I was talking to her. And I'm like, so we have a script. We're so new to this. But like, When you here told it me is. that Chantel wanted to read my script. You shit your pants, bro. I freaked out. I like looked it over and I'm like, oh my God, it has to be perfect. Like, I can't offend her. I don't want to like, because right. I had notes. I had notes that were like, oh, this isn't really relevant to what we need. And I'm like, and, uh, I, I don't mean it's not important it's really important it's just yeah it's just we don't need it for this the thing so I remember going through it and so <laughs> yeah yeah tell him you should okay. tell him so you know I'm a fast typer and I sent I sent over the draft to Chantel's assistant and they read it they all read it together yeah Chantel her assistant and her husband mm -hmm. and I they, te they texted back and they were like oh my god we loved it yeah. And I was like, yes, awesome. And I went back and I looked at the script right at the top of the page. I spelled her name wrong. Shanktel Tessier. It autocorrected apparently when I was writing writing it to Shanktel. Uh, but like why would it even autocorrect to that? Know. <laughs> and it I did just, you so dirty. I was mortified. I was mortified, Hawk. I was like, oh my God, I just sent this to the author and I spelled the author's name wrong. Yeah. Oh my god, like how dumb could I be? <laughs> and then I was like, I she kind of seems like she fucks. You know, like Well, she didn't even notice because we, we went to dinner. But we thought them, she did. And I was like, Chantel, she scared the shit out of me. She goes, Who, Who wrote, wrote the, the script? script? <laughs> and I was and like, I, oh, we look this over is it. The gasp. Yeah. And I and I and I go, I'm so sorry. Was that <laughs> correct? I didn't mean to. And she goes, What are you talking about? <laughs> right. Yeah. It was a beautiful moment. It um, really was. All right. 
So here are the two questions that people have been asking for. Okay. Where can people watch this video that we keep talking about? I think that the safest place for this video will be many vids. A place where it can't get taken down. Because OnlyFans is amazing, you know? We However, love you OnlyFans. We do love you OnlyFans, but there are a lot of rules, specifically knives, that we we can't have. Or saying no, or having all four limbs tied. There's yeah a lot in this scene that we did that OnlyFans would not be a fan of. Yeah, and I don't want to risk, you know, one big chunk of my career for this. Um, as, as passionate as I am about it, I want us all to be able to enjoy it, and I don't want to lose... I don't want me to lose the platform, you, Flesh, anybody involved, really. Also, it would just be terrible if it was posted, people bought it, and then it was, like, taken down. Gone. We don't want you guys to, like, lose your money. Exactly. So, you will be able to watch the video on mini-vids. Yeah. And Hawk, when? When will it be released? The question that everyone is dying to know. Well soon <laughs> we just we just cut it then we cut the whole thing <laughs> we, we just cut we the just whole, leave them in the yeah. dark leave them in the dark we put that little spongebob thing in there like a few hours later <laughs> um we're hoping for somewhere near the end of um october I believe. Ideally, October 28th. Yeah. Is the date we're shooting for. And we're, we're going to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's been... It's been a, a road that a we road. have traveled down to get the release date. See, the issue is we're not editing it ourselves. Um, yeah. So we're, we're going to say the October 28th. Yeah. October 28th. That but is, please don't be mad if it doesn't happen there. We will try everything in our power. And, I, yeah. and I, I'm telling you everything in our power to make sure it's <laughs> like, released on the 28th. But if it's not, we'll get it. I'll we'll cry. We'll get it. Yeah. I'll cry if I, you guys are mean. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we can't, you know what? If we can't get it by October 28th, I'm going to challenge us. I'm going to challenge us to make a, not a whole new one, but like our next project and see how quick we can turn that out and see if we can and get it happen, before you guys. the we last one. We promise that the next ones will be quicker than this. Yeah. And it's like we said, it's a learning curve. And we are so, so, so sorry. The only like, <sighs> mm, words are hard. <laughs> words are so hard when it comes to this. We have done everything that we could possibly do. Um, and we are going based off of like what is told to us as far as release dates. And that is what has been, been a hard. little frustrating. We're so excited. We just want you guys to see it all right now. Yeah. And we're not we're not gonna tease it. We're not gonna edge anybody until we actually have all the facts down. And we're not gonna post the TikToks until we know when the next release date is. Like we know now, after learning from this. Yes. What to do so, moving on. Yeah. But we're telling you guys the 28th. The 28th. The 28th. The 28th. That's, that's it. And it's going to happen. And we're going to manifest it. We're manifesting it. Well, this is going to be released sometime around there, I'm thinking. Or hopefully soon. I don't know. We'll see about that, too. That's fine. Release dates are just a funny thing, yeah, I think, like actually. <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're just we're just ants, <laughs> you know, in this crazy big world, crazy big trying world, trying to fucking get by. There's just so many release dates and, <laughs> and so we're, many expectations. And we're just we're people, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone's ants. We're ants, too. Yeah. No, but. I'm so excited about this project and all the projects to come. And I'm so excited to be doing it with you. Aww. You are so fucking smart. Oh, stop. Don't make me cry. 
You're I really wouldn't want to do this with anyone else either. I feel like this has been so fun. It's been so fun to just like nerd out with you over books. Oh and my God. Making this come to life has just been insane. And like the authors that we're meeting and connecting with, like it has been oh. an amazing experience. So thank you for wanting to do this with me and creating oh this beautiful art together. Yeah. Like this is awesome. I, I really wouldn't want to do it with anybody else either. I'm talking like I Chantel Chantel's assistant Melissa had texted me what was it last night yeah and um asked if I wanted to help do like some sort of you know announcement for for Carnage. release all releases it goes yeah. back to releases the- <laughs> release and we're back to this fucking point again but like we only had, you know, a few days to do it. I think it was like just as last minute as it was for them as we are with everything else. Well, I think it was just like a last minute idea of like, what if they helped us? Yeah. And you texted me last night. I said, thank God you're awake. 11 p.m. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I called you freaking out because we. I needed a man. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. And we needed to film this this video and yeah we we made it happen we we fucking did in less than 24 hours you guys we yeah shot and produced to be fair this thing was only 10 seconds compared yeah. to our our project which is a good like 10 ish minutes yeah but that was a lot of work for 10 seconds we did today but we don't have to ask anything when it comes to books and our favorite fucking authors we don't we like, do it right yeah like Shank Tell, I will. You ask it of us, and we will fucking provide it, and we, we will, will bend over backwards for you, baby. Exactly. <laughs> you ask, it's done, already yeah. done. So in less than twenty four hours, we got this this video shot for them to help them with the release date. Yep. Or the release of um their new book, Carnage. Yeah, hired a man. Everything worked out, and I was everything like, everything worked out. I was like, I'm so happy I have Livy here with me because. I don't know. I would I would just have to be like, I can't. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you want. For, I don't know a man. Are you kidding me? I don't think so. Yeah, you were like, you're like, oh, I'm going to fly this person. And I'm like, I have friends. I have a lot of friends. Like, don't right. worry. Like, we'll figure this out. Some movie magic. We'll hire a voice actor. Like, <laughs> we got this. We got this. And yeah. I just finished editing the video and it's gonna be like perfect and it's so funny because they're so nice they were they were so nice about it and i was like what do you want the background to be what do you want that like do you want rings on the fingers you want tattooed man and they were like just just do like the basic they really do trust us with the they give us so much creative freedom i know and it's funny because like we don't want it we're like no like we want it exact as possible like yeah the book yeah even when i was talking to um HD I was like so I have these ideas for Zaid and for Sibby and I'm just talking like you know trying to go pew 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 trying to talk she was like you can make Zaid a woman like I trust you like you that do this do your fucking thing she was just so fucking cool about it and the same with Chantel they're just such good sports about this so that's they're lovely people they're so fucking nice and I feel like we are so blessed I, I really just do. So fucking lucky. Like, thank you, if you guys are watching this, thank you for giving us permission to... Follow our dreams. Follow our dreams. And <laughs> yeah, I guess make your beautiful words into like vi- a visual representation. It's... Yeah. We're really lucky. Thank you so much for everything that you guys have done. Thank you. And thank you guys for tuning into Salute Talk tonight. Um, we hope this clears up at least a little bit, as much as we can. We're going to ease it. We're going to ease into this. We're going to edge just like Chantel does. Because <laughs> that's where we're heading. <laughs> about this book, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, just tell us. Yeah. Tell us what's in it. <laughs> I mean, we know. You guys will probably know by the time it's released. Yeah. About Chantel's new book. But thank you yeah. guys so much for tuning in. Um, we could sit here and talk about books all day. We're going to have more episodes where we go in depth. We'll do book reviews. Um, yeah. All that fun stuff together. So thanks for tuning in. Would you like to say anything? No. Bye. <laughs>